A new day in Afghanistan and the fragile peace continues. Word about the heroic work of the Dogs of Peace is spreading. Faisal and Zahid, the refugees we met earlier, have decided that they want to become dog handlers and work with these amazing dogs. Yeah, I'd love to be a dog handler because I'm helping my own people in my own country to have fun and be safe wherever they're going and they can't hurt themselves. I would love to become a dog handler because you're, you're saving other people's lives and people will love you. But it'll take more than the dreams and enthusiasm of two young boys to help rebuild Afghanistan. Meanwhile, at the Mind Dog Training Center, Zanadine and Mario have decided to give Mirowis and Alan a second chance to graduate. If Mirowis can control Alan the way he is supposed to, before Alan got too hot and ran off to find some shade under a tree, they will be allowed to join the Dogs of Peace. And this one last chance is symbolic of Afghanistan's current plight. Before the US and its allies went into Afghanistan to flush out Osama bin Laden and Al-Qaeda, Afghanistan had become a safe haven for terrorists. Today, those terrorists have been kicked out, locked up, in hiding or on the run, allowing the dogs of peace to do their job better. But the people of Afghanistan say the people of the world must be vigilant. They say this is Afghanistan's last chance and the rest of the world must support it. Because if the world doesn't support Afghanistan, then the Taliban and Al-Qaeda will return and the retribution